How long was it since Koga last climbed these walls? The collection of ideas that inspired Koga going forward were very martial arts based. There's a lot of really powerful themes that are communicated throughout his, both his character and his kit that I think our audience is really going to resonate with. Sometimes, you know, when we do a champion, we start with like, oh, we would really like to see this kind of weapon like show up in the game, or we'd really like this particular like interaction. I think Koga was one of those cases where it's actually, we want to see like a character. We want to see a ninja in the Paladin's world. Jin used to be Koga's master. You know, he trained him to become the ninja that he is today. But after uh, Koga was betrayed by other members of the Thousand Hands, now him and Jin don't really get along too well. And it's actually kind of cathartic that um, Koga, who studied under Zen, has a similarly themed weapon that is inherently at first glance like looked at as a melee weapon, but in fact, because of what kind of game Paladins is, is treated as a ranged weapon. He is also like our first champ with no cooldowns. His entire ability pool is energy based. I think one of the interesting things that this system allowed us to do was give you the control to say, in this situation, this is what I need, and I've resource managed well enough that I can actually pull it off. I am so excited for Koga's release. We've been working for months planning this character out, figuring out what his story is going to be. Um, I'm just so excited to share him with you. It's been a long time coming for a character like this, and I feel what we did with the character's energy system, who the character is uh, thematically in, in their backstory, and what they're going to bring to the battlefield is going to make for a really awesome reception and badass release. But the day he returned, would be far worse.